learned one uh, in this short video. I'll provide some uh, helpful hints or helpful tips on the telework referencing properties in Simio. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I tend to use tables quite a bit. It is one of, uh, one of the most, uh, uh, it's a pretty useful method in Simio when you're trying to create entities and link some of the properties to it, like processing time when it reaches a certain server, um, other inherent uh, you know, attributes or variables that you want to associate with a bond entity. Uh, routing as well. There's, it's a very uh, useful way to kind of link your bond entities with lots of other information that you need in your simulation model. Uh, there are some caveats though. So I'm going to demonstrate one specific point here on uh, tail referencing. Uh, tail referencing caveat. Uh, hopefully, this will be the first of many more short videos on this, on this topic. Uh, Simio will execute the function value specified in a table reference every time the call is made. Okay, so uh, usually you'll have some tables set up with a column having all of the processing times. So for example, let's say there's a column called process time and the expression for the column, let's say it's random dot normal, uh, mean of 10, standard deviation of two. So you create a model entity and you wanna read this value as a processing time when it reaches a server. Okay, it's a very common technique, right? When an entity reaches the server and calls this table reference as a process time, the simulator will evaluate the expression rather than normal 10 comma two, mean of 10 and standard deviation two to generate the process time, exactly what you want, right? So uh, it enters that server, it you know processes for X amount of time, it generates it randomly and everything's fine, right? Um, so the camera is though, let's say you want the modern entity to uh, process the same time, as in, let's say the random normal resulted in to eight, okay, eight times, let's say eight minutes, right? If this model entity comes back to the server again, if I wanted to run eight minutes again, it, that, it won't happen, it, it won't, that won't work out if you're trying to reference the table again. Because when you reach the server and you're gonna reference the table again, Simil will generate a new value for using the random dot normal expression. Okay, so the first visit might be eight minutes. The next visit for the same model entity, it might be seven minutes. It's gonna be something completely different, right? So it'll evaluate the expression again, okay? So this might cause issues if you're modeling a process where certain parameters should not change once a random value has been assigned. So you have a certain process, you want to call the table value once, and after that, you want to, you want it to be unchanged, then using a table referencing uh, to a processing time or something else, anything else, might not be the best idea because uh, you're going to get some erroneous results. Uh, so if you're confused, I'm going to give you an example, show you an example uh, the next part of the video to kind of demonstrate this point. Okay, so I'm going to go to my example simulator model here. Uh, this is my model. Uh, you could download this from the website. It's got two different model entities, customer one and customer two. Uh, customer two is generated from source two, customer one generated from source one. Okay, looks like a very simple model and it is. Uh, let me go back to the slides and show you the kind of walk through the logic with you. Okay, um, so let me show you the overview. So you ha I have my model, okay. Uh, source one generates customer one, uh, source two generates customer two and they both reference uh, tables. Uh, I see there's a small typo there. Let me fix that real quick. Try that again. So table, yeah, they're both referencing table one. So if you click on source one, you'll see before creating entities, it's referencing row one of this table. So let me go to Simio and show you that really quick. If I go into source one, you see the table referencing here, table name, table one, that's referencing this table. Okay. It's generating row one. Okay. And source two, it's generating row two. Okay, so if you look on table of data again, row two. So the first source one is generating customer one uh, with these associated columns. You have access to these columns. Uh, source two generates customer two and you have access to these two columns as well. Okay, so they're generating, uh, you know, uh, you're generating entities and you're associating, uh, you're doing a table row referencing to generate these model entities. Okay, uh, let's go back to the slides so I can continue my explanation here. So what happens, so they look similar, but in source two, prior to leaving a state assignment is made. 
So uh, there's a the same uh, there's a there's a the same variable called processing time at the bottom x level. I'm gonna take the table table one uh, processing time column and then set that as a new value to this state variable process time. Okay, so let me show you on Simul what I mean. Um, if we go to source two, the source one and source two look very similar, right? But except source two, there's a state assignment. Okay, we open that, open that up. State variable model entity dot process time. Its new value is table one dot process time. So we're going to table one. It's looking at this column and associating this expression to that state variable uh, model entity dot process time. You should kind of pay attention there. I have added another uh you know another property or like another uh, you know uh, thing you can do in simio when you're doing table referencing you notice that i'm actually referencing another column in the table right so processing time column references the random gen column okay so it's taking random gem and double, double multiplying by two okay so you could actually reference columns within the table okay so that's something uh, with this example i want to demonstrate as well okay. sorry i made another row there Okay, so this source two it creates uh, cust cust two, and it also then does a state assignment as uh, going to table one, looking at the process time column, and running that. So when you make that reference, it's going to call that function. Okay, random dot normal. Uh, actually, it's random normal, and then it's going to times two. Okay, it's going to assign that value to the modern entity dot process time state variable. Okay, uh, the slides. So that's the difference, right? And so I'm referencing that column right there, table one at random gen times two. And random, random gen is actually this first column over here, right? Um, okay, so I'm referencing this column, okay? But this column there references this first column, okay? All right, so for customer one at each server, you you have a processing time equal to table one dot process time, so it's reading this column. Okay, for your customer, you're reading this value table one dot random random gen times two. If your customer two though at each server, you're not reading the table anymore. You're reading the model entity dot processing time state variable. Okay, so you're reading that value and using that as a process time. Okay, so let's go back to Simio uh, and make sure that's not the way I've set up, and then run this simulation and show you what really the main takeaway here is. If I look at server one and server two, they're both running the processing time is table one dot process time. So it's literally uh, evaluating this value every time you go to a server. Uh, server three for customer two, we're actually just using modern entity dot processing time, the state variable assignment, the state variable, not the table reference. Same thing with server four. Okay. So what should happen here? Um, when I run this, what's going to happen is even though I'm referencing the same column, table one of process time, in a, if a customer on the top process, these two, which, in, which show the processing time, each one of the servers, they're going to have different values. Okay. So because every time you make this call, table one of process time, Simio is going to generate this function. It's going to run this function. It's going to generate a new value. Okay. So even though you're calling the same, making the same reference, these two values are going to be different. So the processing time in server one and server two are going to be different. Whereas the bottom process, because you assign, you, you call that function of once, the table function of once, okay, and you store it into modern entity dot processing time, and you're using that, you're using this modern entity processing time as the processing time when you get to these servers, these two values should be the same. Okay, they should always be matching. Okay, so let's make sure that happens. So I'm gonna run. Okay, so this is running. Okay, let's pause it there. You see, for customer two, the processing time of server three and server four are the same because I'm referencing the processing time, monitoring the processing time state variable, which is assigned once, right? You know, re just re reference the table just once. Whereas the top process, we're referencing the table twice, right? And every time you reference it, it's gonna generate a new value, okay? Let me keep running this. Leaves. Let's see a second set come out soon. Okay, there it is right there again, right? Second set, right? 
these two values again match, these two values do not match. Okay, so why is this important potentially for you? If you're modeling something where you want to make a table, you want to make a table reference, but it's a random value that you want to keep it, if you just want to run, run it once and you want to make sure your model retains that value for the rest of the simulation, then you can't keep referencing the table. Okay, you got to reference the table and store that value in a state, of state variable at the model entity level. This is one way of doing it. Okay, uh, from that point forward, that value at the model entity level, that state variable at the model entity level, it won't change until you, unless you explicitly change it, right? So keep that as a caveat. Hopefully this helps. Uh, and hopefully this clears up any confusion you may run into uh, if you didn't know this behavior, okay? So, um, you know, if, just be careful in the table we're uh, referencing. Just know that it'll generate a new value, uh, especially when you're doing a random call, right? Um, so just keep that in mind as you're going through whatever you know, project or whatever you're building. Okay. So best of luck. Uh, and thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks here. Bye.